welcome to my channel and today I just wanted to do something a little weird but basically I want to try out some kids crafts I already did something with a I think it was called a phonograph which is supposed to record sound and play it back which is kind of like a science experiment versus a craft uh, but I actually had one of these growing up and I was just thinking the other day like it would actually be fun to try this again because when I was a kid I did not know what was going on and I didn't really understand what the result was supposed to be look like I didn't know what I was making and now that you know I'm an adult and stuff uh, I want to try it out my only concern is um, are these going to be heat resistant trying to find some sort of indication that they are well I'm gonna I guess look on the inside so let's go ahead and open this up okay we're back now <laughs> not my computer my camera died like right as I was showing you what was up so first ew, nasty. so we have the loom here and all the little bands and I like that there's a nice wide variety of band colors for me to play with. You know, some out suffocating, okay. Then we have the very simple instruction page. Just one page. In just three easy steps, you can weave four individual projects. I'm gonna get the camera pointed down at my looming project and I I'll do my first project. You know, I feel like the only thing you can make is literally this pot holder, which may or may not be safe to use with a pot. So by some miracle, I have this set up here. I'm a little concerned about the battery dying again, but you know, if that happens, then I'll just recharge and come right back. Okay. All right. That is a giant mess. Here we got the hook, which has like these little, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you can see them, but they don't look too comfortable in the hand. Okay, now step one, start with one loop beginning at one and the loom secure. Let's start with some yellow for the con okay okay so it says there should be 18 rows so that's what I'm gonna do probably you know fast forward this whoa this one's very thick I feel like they messed up let's put it on the end oh my gosh all right so here we have Okay, this is really cool. Look at that. Alright, step two. Start weaving. I think I'm going to go with the white. Because that looks the cutest. So I have put on the white and the blue. Looks pretty cool. And then here's the other side. Other side also looks very cool. Once again, it feels like a feels like a trampoline. Okay, I've read the instructions and I think I might be able to figure this out. I'm gonna pull with this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it up through that. I'm gonna release that and then put it back on. I might actually just get rid of that hook because I feel like it's making things harder for me rather than easier. Yeah. Yeah, if you're doing this, I actually recommend just like do not even bother with the hook on step three. The remaining <laughs> loops are just getting tighter and tighter. 
Oh, it's really condensing. It's actually getting very tiny. That's a concern. I was hoping that this would be like practical and usable. I don't know how long this has not been recording, so <laughs> not sure what to say. Okay, just in case I didn't catch it on camera, these were like falling off the hooks as I was trying to hand weave it together, and the result is very tiny. Yeah, that sucks that the camera cut out. I really like the way this looks. I'm inspired now to do something even more creative pattern wise just got to think like what am i gonna what am i gonna use this for <gasps> a cup yeah like a coaster like for wet cups something's wet you can put it on this i'm gonna put this one over here as inspiration Okay, we got our inspiration here. I'm also looking down here at this box, and I noticed something about the box that's kind of making me laugh. This, this is not the steps. Like, they are, they are not following the instructions here. They're just like doing it randomly. See, their examples are pretty boring. Not gonna do any of those. do the other side and if it doesn't look the way I was kind of going for then we'll just like mix it up again okay oh, <laughs> what am I literally doing right now you're not supposed to do it like that okay whatever I'm just gonna finish and make sure it looks right that would be so simple wouldn't it though if you just do it like that and it's like done I like this. I, I think this is going to look good. Um, I think actually it is good that I kind of placed it out just to make sure I had enough. Okay, you can totally see that it looks plaid. Okay, so I'm going to start looping this. And I found out last time that it's really helpful to loop everything up here and then just like kind of pull it down. finish this one. This one kind of comes across maybe a bit midwestern. I really like this one though. So far I have the three. The first one I did is my favorite though. It really screams like this kind of like beachy skatery. I don't really know. And maybe it just looks more current. <laughs> it looks it looks more 2017 than these other two. Um but, so I'm going to try something similar, and I'm also going to try to make this one not plaid. I'll probably try to do sections again, maybe sections of purple and blue, and I might put a little bit of white in there. I might do three sections, but we'll see. Okay, so right here I'm just trying my best to give a little bit of tension because 
these tend to kind of pop off towards the end as it gets closer. I don't even know if you can call them a pot holder because they're so tiny. So I've been double looping this last one around. Okay, this one's really cute too. Yeah, I think I just like the colors. Here's my four projects. Projects, AKA very, very tiny pot holders. I should have made a phone case. 